welcome and welcome back to my channel so for today's video guys i'm gonna be trying out a blowout brush it is so popular at the moment guys i'm actually gonna be trying out my first impressions on a blowout brush I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but they are so popular and so trending at the moment. I see it everywhere on social media, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. So I definitely wanted to give it a go. I thought that it will save me time in styling my hair after blow drying and curling and all that stuff. I did end up getting is actually a brand from Remington, the Hydrolux Blowout Brush. Um, the box looks like this, guys. It is quite big as well. Um, what actually attracted me through the blood brush, I didn't know they existed. The first brand that I actually found out was actually the Bondi Boost blood brush, but I thought that the price was a little bit too much, and this one was only $80 at Priceline. And I did end up getting this um, at a huge bargain through Priceline. Um, I have my receipt still here. So this one cost only $63.90, and you can see it right there. Before I made my purchase, I did compare the two between the Bondi Boost Blowout Brush and the Remington Blowout Brush. They're actually quite similar. So they're both considered professional quality level of hair styling. They're both at 1200 watts. Um, the only difference that I could find between the two is that the Bondi Boost Blowout Brush has three different heat settings and three different speed levels. But Remington one has the same three different heat settings, but it only has two speed settings, not three speed settings. I still think that's quite reasonable. You don't want to do it too fast, but in terms of the heat and all that, it's not too hot for you to burn yourself like a hair curler, for example. So without any other further ado, let's get started into the video, guys. So guys, I just jumped out of the shower and my hair is still a little bit wet. So I still have this towel around my hair just to make sure you won't get too wet when we try out this blowout brush, which I'm super excited to try it. This is honestly the first time that I'm trying out this blowout brush and let's just see how it turns out. So what I normally do to dry my hair um, after the shower is just literally use a normal um, blow dryer. Oh my goodness, I just look like a mess right now, but... Oh well, this will turn out much better. Before I try out the blowout brush, guys, just so my hair doesn't get too tangled when I put it on, because right now my hair is a mess when it's wet. There's like a lot of tangles in here. I guess the downside of having long hair is... There's a lot of maintenance. And you get knots everywhere right after the shower. So I'm using this um, Lady Jane Detangler brush. Um, the bristles are so soft and they're much shorter than a regular brush, which I love. It just doesn't pull my hair out. So here's the box guys, it's absolutely brand new, the stickers are still sealed on this box, I actually haven't opened it, this is the very first time. I'm just going to grab some scissors to snip it off. So everything is sealed inside guys, um, I think I just part the items together because that's the brush itself. I think this is the handle side of things. It has a 5 year warranty as well. Guys, so the brush looks like it's in an oval shape just so it gets more volume towards the root of your hair. There's a lock and an unlock there. You'll feel a twist and then it just suddenly stops so you know that you put it in correctly. There are three different heat settings. It looks like that's cool, medium, and that looks like it's the most heated setting. And there's also um, two different types of speed settings as well down there so that's on zero one and two okay that's not too bad it just sounds like an air dryer it's not too hot oh it's kind of dry
so one side of my hair is done I'm gonna do the other side but as you can see it starts to just curve in at the bottom to give it a little bit of volume So this is the end result guys, drying my hair um, completely with the blowout brush, I didn't use a hair dryer or anything. Um, overall it took about 20 to 25 minutes if you have um, long hair like I do. Just by using the brush my hair just looks more straight and less fuzzy or frizzy but if you want to have more of that curl volume look you'll need to spend more emphasis in curling out the ends down here. For this Remington blowout brush, I would definitely say it is value for money. There are so many blowout brushes out there, um, especially the Bondi Boost blowout brush. It is quite popular at the moment. I see it all over Facebook and I just thought I wanted to give it a try. The only thing that stopped me is the price point of it. So if you look at the price for Bondi Boost blowout brush, it costs almost $100. So that's the end of the video for today. I hope you guys love this video. That is the first time that I try out the blowout brush and I absolutely love it. It saves a lot of time in styling my hair after I blow dry it and then curl it. Um, if you have any other recommendations for blowout brushes, drop your comments down below. I'll definitely check them out. And thank you so much for those who have supported me throughout my channel. And if you are new to my channel as well, please drop a comment, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.